Well, it's very unusual to see a young lady doing very well in the, in the very masculine, dominated uh, field of motor rallying. But I have with me Barbara Armstrong, who's actually uh, come up through the ranks to become one of the most successful lady drivers in the country. Well, Barbara, how did you actually start getting involved in rally driving from the start? Um, basically, when I left school, went to Agricultural College, and then I worked to my dad's farm, and all other boys above me had rally cars. So it was when you're 17 and you pass your test, I must have one. So I started rally driving then, and all the boys helped me. And then in 1989 I progressed up to um, a one-make series and I did that for a couple of years. So I was lucky that we did racing and rallycross and also tarmac events in Europe. And then after that I came here to Silverstone to teach rally driving. I thought it would be easier to teach rally driving and get paid for it than to trash about on my own rally car. <laughs> What sort of advice can you give to any young ladies out there who are thinking of actually following in your footsteps? Try and get yourself into a, a one make series. Next year, say it's doing a challenge for 1998, and you want to get in something like that because that's how people determine how good you are in Britain. That's how you get ranked. When I did it years ago, we did it with a manufacturer, and there was 120 cars out in those days. And there was people like Richard Burns and it, Colin McRae started in it, and a lot of other um, young drivers. And that's how you you were all sort of put in the scale and, and motorsport. So you need to get yourself in a big challenge and um, just keep playing on so yeah eventually somebody will spot you like what happened to me and bring you on but you have to wait a long time um, sometimes you don't sometimes you do I mean I waited what 11 years before I eventually got a wax drive over the age of 25 you struggle a bit because all the scholarships have already gone and um, I sort of semi gave up then and, and came here to Silverstone and started teaching but I just happened to be in the right place at the right time so yeah just just keep going and somebody will be watching <laughs>